Hi, I'm Mike Sinisi, executive editor of Make Magazine. Are you a musician or an aspiring singer-songwriter? Either way, it's important to listen to music with the vocals removed while you practice for your future stardom. There's some software and hardware options out there to help make this easy, but none are as simple as the sing-along song Devocalizer by Jeffrey Gohler and his son Nathan Gohler Deitch. One night, Jeff discovered that wiggling the plug on a faulty pair of headphones gave an impressive vocal canceling effect. Jeff, a musician himself, got interested in what was happening, did a bit of research, and designed and built this circuit together with Nathan to replicate the effect. When songs are mixed from individual tracks, the waveforms of the isolated instruments and voices are added together to form the left and right channels of the stereo mix. Tracks can be panned left, right, or center across the stereo field to create the illusion of space. Typically, vocal tracks are placed in the center of the mix, which results in mathematically identical waveforms being sent to each the left and right channel. The devocalizer lifts the common ground for the stereo signals and instead uses the opposite channel as the new ground. As a result, the signals are now 180 degrees out of phase from each other. Each stereo channel is added to an inverse copy of the opposite channel, resulting in any audio that is mixed to both channels being subtracted from the waveform. It's mathematical. By using these parts and following the instructions on the project page, this build can be completed in about an hour with minimal soldering. Oh, and you'll want to have these tools. Start by drilling four holes in your project box. You'll need two on the long side of the box for the two switches, and two on the short side of the box for the two stereo plugs. Next, we will install the dual pole, dual throw, or DPDT center off switch. You don't really need a dual pole switch for this circuit, but it does need to be center off. You can use an SPDT center off switch if you can find one, or you can just follow our lead and use only one side of a DPDT center off switch. Then install the SPDT next to the DPDT. Okay, start by connecting one wire from the ground or sleeve of the input jack to the center pole of the DPDT switch. Now we can run a wire from the outside pole of the DPDT switch to the center pole of the SPDT switch. The last connection for this switch is from the inner pole to the ground, which is the sleeve of the output jack. Now we'll connect the ring terminals of both jacks and then connect them both to one side of the SPDT switch. Then connect the tip terminals of both jacks and wire them both to the other side of the SPDT switch. Don't worry, it's a lot easier than it sounds. Just follow the schematic and you should be fine. And when you're all done making your connections, take a final look at the schematic, inspect all your connections, install the jacks, and close up the project box. Now's a good time to label those audio jacks so you don't get them mixed up. Mark them input and output. That's it, all finished. To make it work, all you have to do is plug in your audio source, like an iPod, phone, or anything with a headphone jack on it, into the input plug of your sing-along song devocalizer, and then plug your headphones into the output jack. You should start with the DPDT center off switch in the full downward position, pointed toward the audio input jack. This should give you a standard stereo signal coming through the headphones. Now try switching it to the middle position. The vocals should be magically turned off. When you move the DPDT switch to the top position, it activates the SPDT switch. This switch can then be moved to the right or left, giving you a full right or full left signal. Once you know which is which, you might want to label that for future reference. The sing-along song devocalizer won't work with every track. We found that about 20% of songs have an incredible, mind-blowing effect of single instruments isolated. About 50% of songs have a less pronounced vocal track removal, and about 15% of the tracks we tested don't have a noticeable effect. That isn't that big of a deal, especially when you find those 5% or so of the tracks we tested that have a fascinating, totally unexpected digital audio sound that is difficult to describe. Large parts of these songs have a bizarre, robotic-like sound that will occur when fiddling with the switches. Have fun and let us know if you find any songs that have especially pronounced or unusual effects.